Hi traders, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope all of you are doing good. So today what we are going to do is uh, first we will analyze bank nifty and uh, then we'll also analyze nifty on multiple time frames and uh, we will try to s simulate few option strategies and let's see which suits better and in what condition what adjustment has to be done. So without wasting further time let's get started i am going to take you to bank nifty chart on a monthly time frame i'm going to refresh this Okay, as you can see now we are on bank nifty chart on a monthly time frame this is a trend line which it has broken in the past so what are we going to do now is just remove this trend line and uh, let's see what the market has to say on a monthly time frame as you can see as you can see here Mm, this is a complete engulfing a green bar has been completely taken over by a red bar so this is a cell setup and it happened near the 20 period moving average which is a very key resistance to us so now what is the level so are we saying that bank nifty is going to go further down we can say yes it can stay in this range a few days why i'm saying this because there's a lot of buying which has come from this area and you know this whole thing if you see this is a 50 percent candle and even this is a 50 percent candle so there is huge support at this level so bank nifty can stay in this zone for some time it can come into the zone and also if any retracement outside of this zone is a bullish sign for us and it can go higher from here and break it towards upside so we have to watch out for these levels and let's see where the bar you know i am expecting a bank nifty to either open in this range and drop down further or it can also open gap down depends upon the conditions on the border so let's analyze this on a uh, weekly time frame now So on a weekly time frame also we are seeing similar pattern being formed there is a rejection at 200 period moving average which is a major resistance and one two three four bars down so you know this is already in a zone let's see if we get to see a green bar this week which takes out the higher of this bar then we can definitely say the trend has reversed and market can touch higher levels again but if this level is broken then you know this is the last level which we are talking about so this is on a weekly time frame let's go to daily time frame daily time frame there is a sign of hope so this continuous one two three four by after fifth bar there is a green bar which has come so which is a clear bullish sign on a daily time frame i expect the market to go up at least till this level which is the 20 period moving average level okay so watch out for this i have positions made basis this at this level i have a butterfly sitting here so i will show you those positions as well so this is on a daily time frame now if you want to analyze this on a further shorter time frame that is your 15 period moving average and 15 period moving uh, uh, 15 minute time frame and a moving average so market opened gap down consolidated consolidated on a downtrend and whenever it came near the 20 period moving average there was a further drop here a pattern has formed 
after that gap up and then retrace back gap up at 20 period moving average and from there a fall later it crossed the 20 period moving average and started dialing up this was the first pullback now again we can expect a second pullback to happen here and it can go further up from this side and what is the RSI saying RSI is also at 61 which is also a good sign so the previous bounce also came at this level so we can expect the same thing to happen here so it looks bullish on a smaller time frame now let's uh, look at nifty nifty on a monthly time frame first nifty on a monthly time frame is like really bullish it has crossed all the levels and it is sustaining above this and if you see compared to bank nifty it is in a very good bullish trend okay so it's not a worry for us on nifty nifty you can always make bullish positions and it can give you good results so let's go to on a weekly time frame weekly time frame wow there is a good risk retracement at this level but we can expect it to be here for some time it will be choppy here it's better good time for us to write any straddles or you know uh, strangles on nifty it will be uh, beneficial for us to do that it is already taking a support at 20 and there is a crossover which happened for 20 and 200 which is a good sign so comparatively nifty is stronger than bank nifty let's go to a daily time frame i hope the video is on yes so on a daily time frame as we can see let me just load the data here okay as trump was popped up let's close them so on a daily time frame here also we have a good bullish candle which has formed after this fall both can fifth green candle is definitely buy signal for us which has taken out this high so you have to buy and definitely this is your first target which is 11,050 okay so this is also bullish and bank nifty is also bullish on a shorter time frames so understand one thing whenever the change in trend happens it happens at the shorter time frame and then it will transcend towards the higher time frames with volumes so now let's look at nifty on a 15 minute time frame let's understand its range so nifty was very bullish in a 15 minute time frame and uh, it took support on 20 took support on 20 again and then went all the way up so there is absolutely no stopping after this level which is 60 level and then now also the price is at 60 rsi is also at 60 so you can take a bullish position and it can go up to 11,280. so this is our target so now let's go to the nse chain and try and analyze what strategies we could have plotted or try to experiment like uh, try multiple things uh, I'm going to NSC chain for bank nifty first so where is bank nifty bank nifty is at 21,000 is it at 21,000 So bank nifty at 20,982 which is 21,000. So assume that you are selling a straddle which is 21,000 straddle. Let's analyze this. One lot call and one lot put. Okay, selling is always safe if you understand the risk involved and 
if you have a strict stop loss say half of the premium which you have paid so in this case we have paid about 680 we have gained about 684 okay divided by 2 so 342 combined premium should be your stop loss that means on this 300 you're going to put a stop loss of 150 rupees and this stop loss of this 300 plus 150 that means 450 your stop loss here 380 plus 150 that will be your stop loss so that will be 534 so keep a stop loss like that if the market runs into that position then you have to exit that position or adjust that position okay so this looks risky because here we are seeing 17282 is our profit if the market stays in this range and what is the range here we can calculate so range is about 2308 minus 21692 so this is about 1300 points range for bank nifty so do you think it's possible that bank nifty can move 1300 point range we are not sure if starts moving even then if moves a little bit your position will go into negative territory so let's play around let's try to see how do we adjust so we have uh, 300 point so what do we do is we combine this premium this is 684 and then look at uh, 21,000 minus 600 okay so this is 20,400 so 20,400 uh, is the put which I am going to buy 20,400 put let's buy this and see what happens to the position now the position has a limited risk on the downside which is around 400 rupees or maximum it can go up to 1600 rupees you can see this t plus zero line here okay so there is no risk on downside on the upside there is a risk so on the upside also if we add 600 points so 21600 if you buy a 21600 call okay so this becomes a more safer position for us here you're getting a range of about let me open the calci here Two zero five double six minus two one four three four. There is a range of about eight hundred points, and if the market goes out of the range, you are going to lose about four thousand rupees. If the market stays in this range, you are going to gain about ten thousand eight forty one rupees. That is still expiry. Don't expect this profit intraday. This is still expiry. So there is a time dk factor added to this so if you hold the position till expiry and bank nifty stays right in this middle then you're going to make this kind of a profit now if you want to play directional say that uh, you don't want to you want to bring this a little closer say 21 400 or 21 thousand 21400 yeah 21400 what will happen to this scenario 21400 you are not having a risk much of a risk on the upside so let's see if i can put 21200 21200 which is 200 point away from our at the money straddle so here this position looks really good here if the market starts to move up you will make about 7838 points profit if it moves down you will make about 7000 rupees loss so this is 1 is to 1 if you want to play 1 is to 1 you can play this but here the investment is higher this can be done with a debit spread also which is much more simpler for us 
So let's try to reduce the distance between 21,000 foot and 20,400. So what do we do is 21, we'll just move to 20,800. So we move to 20,800. Let's see what happens. Oh, again we got the same iron fly. This is called an iron fly where we are selling a straddle and then buying the call and near which is close to that straddle. So your maximum loss is this much, maximum profit is this much. So what is the ratio? It is about close to 1 is to 10 ratio at expiry. Okay, the probability is less and the range is also really small about 200 point range. Okay, so this doesn't look good. Uh, let's see if I can just take off this leg and see what happens. I've removed the 21,200 call. So now the position is turned completely bearish. So your view is bearish. You're expecting the bank nifty to go down. And if it goes down, you will make a profit of 9,000 rupees. Okay, and this is your peak profit wherever it is. So now if it starts moving backwards, okay, so then your loss starts from here and within few minutes it will it can go up to 3000 4000 if the fall is huge. Okay, so there is a risk involved here. Now what do we do? So we have 20,800 put. So 21,000 put and 21,000 call. So if I increase 21,000 call, what will happen? So the profit has increased, but the risk levels are also increasing with that change. So what do we do now? So we do a 21,000 to so 384 is what we sold 294 is what we bought so we can increase one more here let's see what happens okay now it's completely 50 50 ratio we don't know what profit we're having we don't know what loss we're having any movement from here will lead to a loss or a profit very quickly so which is not advised Now let's see what happens if I increase the quantity here. If I increase the quantity on 21,000 put, then my range has increased actually 20,418 minus 21782 is equal to about 1364 point range I have got and I have got protection on the Put side, hmm. which looks good. Let let me delete this put also and see what happens. So I've deleted the put. Now your position is skewed towards bullish because you've sold one call and you've sold two puts. Okay. Now the position is bearish, and if the market starts moving up, you will gain. And if the market moving down, you will lose money. So in intraday levels, you know, this is what you can actually play around. If you are selling a straddle, you can actually adjust the position basis, the moment of the market. So that means you have sold one call, one put, and you have seen that the profit is on one leg. Okay. The profit will be on one leg because if the market starts to move, then what you do is you can add quantity to that side. So if, if I'm assuming the market is going up, so I'll make this two. Or if I make this three, what happens? The position still gets better and better the moment you add towards the winning side. And if you see, you know, the on the opposite side, the call will be spiking up really high because 
uh, there will be gamma effect on this so you have to be careful there has to be a stop loss on this side 100 percent and there has to be a stop loss on this side also so both the sides you need to have that 150 150 addition of the stop loss and then you can adjust the position like this and you can quickly make money and get out from the markets this strategy can work really well if you play it right but you need to practice this used to be my favorite strategy when i was doing intraday but these days i don't get time because of work so i mostly prefer doing positional butterflies and close them every day morning in profits so what positions i am holding right now let me show you that So right now I'm having a bank nifty butterfly. Okay, so this is the position which I'm having. So market has moved into the position because market was here when I made this position outside of the butterfly and, and I made it in the forward direction. So the market has moved into the direction. So even if the market opens up, still I'll be in profit. And if it moves down also, I'll be in profit till this level. So as per the pattern recognition, we have seen that the market will not move that much on the downside. It is expected to move more on the upside. Okay, so that's it for this week guys. And uh, you know, do check out these good scanners, which is charting is one of the uh, screeners which you can use on a daily basis. And there's one more site called as top stock research. You have like a lot of high open interest, low open interest uh, kind of a scanners available for free, which you can use. Vodafone India, open interest, put call ratio is really high. Like this, you can scan for the stocks which you want to trade on a regular basis. So please do subscribe to the channel and do share my videos and uh, follow me on Twitter and have a great weekend ahead thank you so much for watching